Hello, in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at controls keys and their functions in Microsoft Office Word. So, without much ado, let's roll the intro. You are welcome back. The very first control. I mean the shortcut key that you can use on Microsoft Office Word and your system is Control A. How can you locate control on your system? You will see a key that is written CTRA, that is the meaning of control, and then you have your alphabetical key A, and then you want to press it together, you will see the effect of what it will give unto you. So now this is a work in which I have done so far, and then I want to highlight everything. The function of Ctrl A is to highlight every work that you have done. So now what I want to do is I press on Ctrl and then I click on A. So everything on what I've done, been doing has been highlighted. Here you can delete, you can delete everything. If you click on delete, everything will be deleted. So that is the work of Ctrl A. Once you press Ctrl A, every of your work will be highlighted and then you can do whatever you want to do to read now the second one is control b control b what is the meaning of control b control b means to bold in highlighted selection now let's go back to our work now i have already control a everything and then if i click on control b control b you will see the effect of what i'm talking about now can you see it has been buried now if i press ctrl b again it will go back to the normal way now if i only selected this very place good idea in fact very view and then i press on ctrl b is only this place that will be bold so now let's go to the next ctrl key here which is ctrl c what is the meaning of the ctrl c i mean what is the function to copy selected first now let's go back to our work view and then let's say i want to copy this very part now let's say i press ctrl a i want to copy everything there once i press on ctrl c i have copied everything now in order to paste it well we are still going there i can just quickly paste it at this very place we are i'm going to show you how you can paste the work of Ctrl C is to copy. You can highlight a section of your work, and then once you press on Ctrl C, you can easily paste it to anywhere you want it to be pasted. So now let's go back to the next one Ctrl D. The function of Ctrl D is if you want to change font or font size, that is where your Ctrl D will be functionable now let me press ctrl d this is ctrl d and if i click on these are the font size we are going to do very well with font size in our in our previous i mean in our next video but just note that if you want to go to shortcuts you can easily press ctrl d and then you have effects to change the font and the font size this is where also if you don't want to press the shortcut you can easily come to this place now the next control key is control e control e means to align selected text or line to the center if you want to align all your text into cent if you want to centralize it once you press control e can you see it has been centralized so that is a function of control e however you can centralize everything by highlighting all which is control a and if you press control e everything will be centralized now let's go back to the next control which is control e what is the function of control e i mean control f control f means to find a test now in a situation whereby you have a whole work to do you have type you have work on your 
but on the document and then you are looking for a particular word now for an example let's say i'm looking for this particular word startup and then there are a whole lot of setup on or, 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 that i have typed and then i don't know where all of them are you can easily press ctrl f to find that words now find what you can easily press the word start up once you press start up and then you click on find next it will bring in every word that is instead of can you see it has highlighted every single word so you only have one start up here on your I mean in the document that you typed we're going to talk about it extensively in our next video now country G is to find and to replace now listen very well Control F and Control G they work interchangeably now let me press Control G Control G you can actually go into page number let's say your work have a whole lot of page number you can easily type the number of page that you have going you can go into another section section number also you can replace it when we get to finding and replacing can you see the startup here again we are going to talk about it so console g is for finding and for replacing now control h also is the same work and then let's move to control high control high means to italicize highlighted selection now let's say i want to italicize this brain and once i press control high you see what it will bring it has been slant but microsoft word language is italicized it is very useful if you want to write a quote now let's move back to ctrl j ctrl j means to justify paragraph alignment if you have work on your document finish it is very important that you justify if you don't justify your work will not be neat there are rules when you are typing on microsoft office Word. we are going to talk about in our subsequent video now let me if i press on ctrl j can you see however microsoft Word have sensed that the type of document that i am typing here is not that really really you know i didn't arrange it very well so after i press ctrl j then it actually arranged everything i typed very well let me try to ctrl z now i press ctrl a and then i press ctrl j can you see everything has been justified and then the word is neat and then is in line with each other now i move to ctrl l ctrl l means to align selected text or line to the left this is it once remember we have talked about ctrl e to align to the center now i press ctrl here and then I press ctrl l everything has been aligned here to the left however look at this we understand the business plan and then i press ctrl l ctrl e this is for center ctrl l take it back to the left side now we are moving to ctrl m what is the function of ctrl m to tap indent the paragraph that is it's like a tab key we have a tab on the system you will see a tab tab then if you tap these particular words here yeah. can you see so that is the main that is another work of control m can you see is for tabbing or moving text instead of pressing space bar which is not advisable you can press the tab or you press control m so let's move to another one control hand control hand means to open a new or blank document let's say you you don't want to use this 
place this page again once you press control hand we have another fresh document on your system in which you can begin to type and begin to do some work on it control o control o is to open an existing document now let's say this document here remember we talked about title bar in a previous video then this is the name i used to save the document and then richly make a research and business plan so let's say i can see this word and then i'm in a new paragraph and then i want to open that document back i can easily press ctrl o once i press ctrl o then it will bring in a window and then i can search for the word richly make a business plan once i click on it and then you click on open it will open your documents so that's how control o works so now i'm moving to control p control p means to open the print window after you are done with your work and then you want to do some printing you can press control p provided that your document is ready and then you have a printer you can easily print however if you don't have a printer you can easily go to any computer uh business places to print your document now the next one is control q control q means to align selected paragraph to the left align selected paragraph to the left let's say hi i like this and then i press control q yes take it back to the left it's more or less or like control l now let me try to press control l no 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 okay align it to the left that is this perfect work of control q so now i'm moving to control r control r means to align selected paragraph to the right i press control r on this one and then can you see let's take it to the right perfectly so i'm moving to control s control s is very very important because it triggers you to save your work now this word that i've done here at this very place you, i have to save it by pressing control s and then you can save it as any name that you want to use here so now in, at this place i just highlight and then i click on i change the name to practice practice sorry oh p r a c t i s e as practice or c he sorry if my english is not correct so i i have saved it oh sorry it should be c e i change it it should be c h e so let's continue this other is control s then let's come to control t control t is to to tap or hinge a paragraph if you want to end it a paragraph just press a control t and let's see the effect this is the effect of control t so control u is to underline a selected paragraph you know there are situation where you might want to underline a anything uh, just a light and then press control u can you see it here when whatever you do whatever short call you press will be affecting the main place here so now for an example yeah let's press let's say i press control high can you see it has been italicized and it indicated it has been italicized now if i click on it again it will not be italicized let me go back to it italicized can you see it here so the next 
what is control v so whenever after you have copy after you have cut after you have copy or cut then you have to paste so for an example i copy all this one control c and i press control n for new now if you want to paste you press control v so everything you have are the, you can you see document 4 however and this one is richly made a research which means they are not in the same line so you can quickly save this one as any name that you want to save so now i'm moving back to Control V. Now Control W means if you want to close any application. Let's say I press Control W. I want to close this application. It has been closed. And then there is something I did not put down at this place, which is Control X. Control. Control X. So, what is the function of Control X to cut to cut a document? There is different between cutting and uh, copy a document. If you copy a document, the original image, the original text rather, will still be there. But once you cut, everything will be wiped away from the system, and then you can quickly press ctrl z or ctrl v to paste it back so ctrl y means to repeat the last action oh, sorry repeat the last action what you have done last it repeating it and then y ctrl z is to redo the previous uh, action so I believe that you have gained one or two things from this quick tutorial on control keys and their function in Microsoft Word. If however you gain one or two things, please subscribe to this channel so that we will be bringing in much content to your view. Good day.